So I think the biggest issue that makes a user turn away from the Octane version of Blender is probably the fact that the uh, Node Wrangler uh, is not working. The initial Node Wrangler, the native Node Wrangler from Blender is not working. I'm talking about the one that you get here if you type in Node Wrangler, this one. Uh, nothing will happen when you use this Node Wrangler. But there is a custom build of the Node Wrangler that is specially built for Octane that you can use. And it has some uh, very useful features that uh, you can use to speed up your process and workflow. So head up to uh, GitHub and type in Node Wrangler Octane. You will go to this page by AI Satan and click on uh, this link here. And you'll get uh, this Node Wrangler Octane zip and download it. Go back to Blender and install the zip file that you just downloaded, Node Wrangler Octane. It appears here. You need to activate it. Make sure that the other Node Wrangler is deactivated, otherwise it will um, compete with this one. Make sure uh, this one is activated. So now it's going to be a time saver because you just need to click on your material here, then press Control Shift T, and you go to your uh, library. I'm going to go to my me Megascan library, uh, Megascan, and I'm going to select a beach, sand beach, Thai beach. I'm going to get the albedo. Uh, I think it even works with the displacement. And roughness and click on this and look at that it has uploaded the albedo the roughness the normal and the displacement with the texture displacement which is great and all of this is linked to a, a unique transform value so you can scale it up very easily let's take a look at this There you go. I've got a beach. Maybe I want to tweak the displacement. Yeah, I'm going to take out the um, normals and to get real displacement like this. Great, amazing. Another very useful feature of the Node Wrangler is that you can mix colors in a click. So if I press on this uh, color here and press Control Shift and right click, I can now drag and drop this to another texture and it's going to create this mixed texture, right? So that's really easy. Now, another thing that the Node Wrangler does is here it's mixing uh, these two textures at the amount of uh, in the middle, right? 50% one, 50% uh, the other one. So let's say I want to separate them with a gradient, uh, with um, noise. I'm going to use the noise texture here into the amount. And I'm starting to see it here, but I'm not seeing it very clearly. So I'm going to add a gradient. Yeah. And the, one of the very uh, useful features of the Node Wrangler uh, of Blender is you can see uh, specific um, textures or noise or uh, nodes that you're working on. So if you now press Control Shift and left click, it's going to create a viewer here that's going to connect um, whatever node you're working on to the viewer. So now I can uh, fine tune this something else like this say so I can see my gradient now because I was not seeing it uh, properly before and now I just need to reconnect this so I'm gonna select my node and control shift click and now I have mixed these two textures uh, using the um, this cool option of the viewer 
just by pressing Control shift click you basically can't work with blender if you don't have uh, the node wrangler activated so uh, just make sure if you're using octane to download this version of the node wrangler and one last thing my uh, youtube page has uh, some of my vids have been seen like uh, eleven thousand times and i've got uh, 500 subscribers so if you could give me a, a thumbs up or a, a just subscribe to the channel that would uh, give me a give me a lift you love me you really love me